<laughs> hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Today's video is dedicated to all of you guys who love to debox, redress, and restyle your Barbie dolls. I have been receiving a ton of questions from you guys asking if the new Silkstone bodies can fit into the old Silkstone clothes, if the old Silkstones can fit into the new Silkstone clothes, and if the Model Muse dolls can fit into either of the Silkstone or the new Silkstone outfits, if that makes sense, I think. I thought we'd sit down together and go through my doll cabinet. We'll pick out one Model Muse, one original Silkstone, and one articulate Silkstone, and we'll see who can wear what. And that way, when you guys are looking to redress, you guys will know exactly what to look for, okay? So without further ado, let's get going. Here are three of my gorgeous dolls from my cabinet that we are going to swap and see who can wear what blush and gold cocktail dress, gorgeous. Now she has the new Silkstone articulated body. And this is the beautiful Model Muse Zuhair Murad Barbie, who I also reviewed a short time ago. Love her so much. And here is the original Silkstone from the 2015 Barbie Fashion Model Collection. She is fashionably floral. She also has this gorgeous hat, so we can see how that works. Let me go ahead and take off all their outfits and I will be right back. I'm gonna start with the new Silkstone articulated body um, and I'm gonna see if she can fit into um, Zuhir Murad's Model Muse dress. Um, so it's going on relatively smoothly and I think we may have a fit here. Let me see, I chose this dress specifically because it is quite a fitted um, gown and I wanted to see how that would look on her. Okay, all right, so it snaps nicely the same way as it does on the Model Muse body. The shoes do fit, um, beautiful. That's a win right there in case you guys are wondering if the new Articulate Silkstones can wear Model Muse. There you go, they can. All right, so now I'm gonna see if Model Muse can wear Articulated Silkstones outfit. This is a little bit tough getting on, not gonna lie, because of uh, her arm configuration here but I did manage to get it on without damaging the dress. We'll put her shoes on. It's interesting seeing it on a different doll, huh? It kind of takes on a whole new life. I do also want to see if Model Muse's bracelet fits on Articulate Silkstone. Oh my god, her wrists are so scrawny. It fits, but it looks like it could like fall off. Do you see what I mean here? And there we go. So now the test would be to see um, if she can wear this. And I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think I've ever tried putting Model Muse on the twist and turn body, but I think we know that that most likely will not work. However, let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's see if she fits this. I think I already know the answer, but I'm curious all the same. Gently, gently. Ugh. I feel like she may rip this. It's a little bit snug, but it did go on. You can see that there's some excessive pulling here because her waist ratio to Model Muse's waist ratio is very different. However, she can wear this dress, so that's um, interesting. I don't think that this may be the case for all Model Muse outfits. However, most of the pieces do have um, give and take and stretch and pull. So now I want to see if articulated silkstone can fit into fashionably floral. Something to note, the hose look very different. Um, this is articulated silkstones and this is fashionably floral. Articulated silkstones hips are so much smaller than the original silkstones, you know? It does fit. It is a little bit big. They do seem to have the same calf, um, interestingly. So from the knee down, it's the same leg but knee up it's it's a much smaller thigh all right it is very loose you guys it just feels very loosey goosey look it looks like she has like no boobies this skirt is just slipping right on feels very loose on her as well i mean it fits but you see right through here there's some bunching happening because um, it doesn't fit nicely on the bust I mean, it doesn't look horrible if you guys did want to switch. Um, and she does wear the shoes, that much I know because they all have the same feet. There is Articulate Silkstone with the hat and the gloves on. Uh, the gloves do not reach up high enough to cover up her 
ugly little joint, but um, it is what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Something about her just looks like she's trying to wear her mom's clothes. And now I think the big question that everyone has is if she can wear this. I think from this, we might be able to see that she can, but it might not be ideal. So let's go ahead and take it off Zuhair Murad and see what we have here. Moment of truth, let's see if this gorgeous beauty, my God, she is just the heaviest of them all and just feels so solid. I can't even tell you how much I love that. Will it snap shut? Okay, one snap, yes. Bottom here, two snaps, yes. It's starting to pull. Um, three snaps, yes, two. Oh, wow, okay. She can actually fit into um, this dress. That's amazing, okay. I think the fact that she had her hose off also helped. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna see if she can wear um, articulated silk stones hose. This, I don't think she will be able to. Like, it is really, really tight up here. And I think it's because she has hips and she does really does not have hips. So I'm just gonna take that off because I don't wanna rip it. She, of course, will be able to wear the shoes as well. So now I'm putting these on without hose, obviously. I am very surprised. I did not think that she would actually be able to fit into this, but there we have it. So a lot of you guys, after my black and white tweed suit Barbie doll review, asked me if I thought this outfit could be um, worn by the original Silkstone. So I don't really know the answer, and now that I feel like my world has been turned upside down by her being able to wear that, um, I think we should take a quick look. So let me quickly undress this beauty and I will be right back. Here are all the beautiful pieces from um, black and white tweed suit. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, but let's go ahead and see if traditional silkstone body can wear this beautiful ensemble. It's like already crazy tight. I feel like it might work. Oh, it goes. Now, if she's able to wear the jacket, I will like shit myself because I truly did not expect this. It's very snug, I will not lie, it is snug. So um, I'm glad that these pieces are well made because if it was a cheapy little suit, it might have ripped as it went past her hips. So there it is in the back, not very much different than when she wears it, but you can see some stressing happening here. Um, underneath her um, rib cage area. There is also some space here because her hips are uh, much narrower um, from her waist than hers. Her hips kind of jut out more model muse style. So you can see that little bit of space right there. Forming it on to her body. This tweed does mold nicely, but I don't think it's going to button. There's an enormous amount of stress that I'm feeling on the garment right here because I feel like her shoulders might be um, broader than hers. You see, like she can't really move her arm forward. Moment of truth, will it button? One button in, one button in, oh, came back out, okay, okay. One button back in, second button on. Okay, oh my gosh, oh my God. <laughs> it's like stressed to the max holy cow you guys now i had popped the collar um because i just like the way it looks but um if you wanted to lay it down you could there it is laid down oh my gosh you guys this is kind of exciting no this is like very very fitted to her like you thought it was fitted to her no girl it is fitted to this one right here holy mackerel so there we go, you guys. She does fit the Dior-ific beautiful suit. Uh, wow! I feel like it looks so much prettier on her. I feel like we can see more of a waist and a bust and a hip. In case you guys are wondering, um, Model Muse does fit the uh, black and white tweed suits dress right here. Um, it fits her very similar to how it fits her. This arm configuration makes it impossible almost to get this um, jacket on her, but it does fit. It fits very similar to how it fits um, on her. I guess I don't love it on 
um, modern day Barbie as much as I do on um, old fashioned Barbie, no? <laughs> Maybe it's just her makeup and earrings because she's like ready to hit the red carpet in 2017. And this outfit says that she needs to like, I don't know, go back to the Mad Men days or something. Shoes fit as well. There we go. You guys can now see that she fits into it as well. So you guys, <laughs> you're gonna think I'm crazy, but because I like to be as thorough as possible, I thought I would bring out my little kitchen scale, which I used to bake and weigh them all. There you see, she is coming in at 8.22 ounces. Okay, so this is not exact. This is just a little kitchen scale telling us something. Um, let's keep that in mind. Um, this may not be what Mattel will tell us if we were to ask them. Now she does have her hose and her earrings on. Um, however, I am curious to see Look at that, you guys. She's a whole ounce uh, lighter. Let's see what the original model muse weighs in. Oh, she weighs just a mere three ounces. <laughs> Articulated silkstone is four ounces heavier than model muse, and original silkstone is one ounce heavier than articulated silkstone, and a whole five ounces heavier than model muse <laughs> i win so there we have it you guys now you guys know exactly who can wear what and what to look for what measurements are how much they weigh etc etc for some reason that's a big question that we all seem to have um, and i think those of us who do like to swap fashions and redress um, will find this kind of information helpful i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope that you learned something and i hope that it was helpful please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe make sure to hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified every thursday when i upload a new video add me on instagram I am at Suresh NY. That's generally where I post all my updates. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me here in New York. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for a new video, okay? Bye!